everybody, Chief Multifast, and I'm here, and today we are back playing nothing. This, as you know, because you clicked this video, is a tutorial on how to use your Joy-Cons on your PC to play emulators, both ones that support it and ones that don't. So, the first thing that you gotta do is open up your Bluetooth right here, as you can see. This is Bluetooth, just, you know... Go to search, type here to search, and type in like Bluetooth, stuff like that. And then when you get here, click add Bluetooth to other devices. Bluetooth mic, uh, yeah, just normal Bluetooth. Then grab your Joy-Cons and click the button that's in between the SR and SL button. And just hold them both, and you want to connect both of them. So let me click, connect the right Joy-Con. And then let me connect the left Joy-Con. So this was pretty easy to be honest. We, we don't need Bluetooth anymore. You can X that out. So we got our Joy-Cons connected. Now what you want to do is open up your emulator. I'm going to be opening up my GameCube emulator. Bad, bad. GameCube Game Boy Advance emulator. So let's open that up. Just wait for it to load. This is, by the way, this is what I use to record... Um, Martin Luigi Superstar Saga, if you didn't know. So let's um grab the ROM, put it in. Hope you're gonna experience some lag, just a heads up. Thank you. Okay, let's get this open. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So if I like so then what you wanna do is you want to map your button. So first, go to options or however you map it. For me, I go to joypad, configure, first controller. And as you can see, everything is mapped. Now here's the thing about Joy-Cons. When you add a Joy-Con, it doesn't see it as both. It sees it as one. So if I click, so if I hold my right Joy, my left Joy-Con upwards and I click up, it's going to switch to left. Yeah, that's not good. So when I, so like, let's say I hold it sideways. If I hold it right, it counts as left. And basically, you just hold it the way you want it and map your buttons. That's all you got to do. Map what you want. And as you see, it says joy. So I'm not using the keyboards. I'm not faking it. I press A. It works. I don't know if you can hear me clicking. But I'm moving around. Can you, can you hear the um, Joy-Con flickering? Yeah. So that's that's how you basically do that. That's the easy part. Now, let's say you're using an emulator that um let's say you're using an emulator that doesn't support this. Like um Dolphin, for instance, because it does not support Joy-Con controls. Um sorry about that. Well let's say it doesn't support Joy-Con controls. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description and click the first link. It'll bring you to joytokey.net slash n slash download. Basically, what joytokey is, it allows you to map your Joy-Con or whatever controller to the keyboard. So let's say you want to map the um, A button to the A keyboard. You just map it, and when you press A, it figures it as A, and then you connect your emulator to like that, that certain keyboard, and when you press it on your controller, it works. So all you gotta do is just press download right here on the side. When you do that, it starts to download. You just gotta wait. Um, don't know if that downloaded. Anyway, when it's done downloading, oops, sorry, wrong button. Scroll down here and click download joy to key net. And it'll just bring you, just wait. It'll bring you here and it'll download it. You gotta extract it, so get like, um, Get in something that can extract, and when you extract it, you'll get a folder that says joy to key.net. You open it, and then you'll see a bunch of files and folders and stuff. You want to click joy to key, just click that, double open it up, and just wait for it to open. And there it is, right here, as you can see it. Whoops, don't know what I just did. Okay, as you can see it here, here right now. So, what you want to do after that is you want to map your joy cons. Now, the way how this works. Joy-Con 1 is the first jo Joy-Con you map, so that'd be my right Joy-Con. And Joy-Con 2 is the second, so that'd be my left Joy-Con. I believe this could hold up to 32 controllers at once. Don't know how would you would do that. Probably be laggy a lot. So what you want to do is just map it. So, like, I'm 
up for me would be left like okay so here's how it works the buttons on the left the the keys on the left is the direction of the controller and the keys on the right is your actual keyboard so when i press left it seizes left down down and right is right that's my joy con 2 you know if i press some um, i mapped it so minus would be enter um and left would be q and you know joy con 1 same thing except it's different how this is the um how i mapped it to be the c stick you know how j i l k is always a c stick and a x b y and if you don't know what the button is since it says like POV button one two three just press the button it'll highlight it and you'll know which one it is So after you do that don't exit out because you know it wouldn't work anymore Then after you do that you want to open up your emulator. So let's open up dolphin right here and let's um, go to controllers and Let's go to hmm, Let's go to weir modes and I'll change this just for a quick second to emulated configure and you could emulate it as you want. Now I'm going to go be going to classic extension and configure it. And as you see, I have everything connected. I'm pressing the buttons and as you can see, it's highlighting. Doing this, it's scrolling as you can see right here, right stick, it's scrolling. So let's press okay, okay, okay. And let's open up a game like Super Mario World. And It'll be running perfectly as I was showing a few seconds when it's done loading up. Let's just give it a second. Give it and here it is. So yeah, yeah, you need the classic controller. Now I press A. I press A, just wait for it to be done. And it works. So I'll just show off, you know, a couple of gameplay just to prove that it works. Make sure I'm not faking it, guys, because I'm not. Game's a little bit laggy because, you know, this is an emulator. My computer's, like, pretty trash. So, yeah, I'm moving it. You can hear you can hear the Joy-Cons pressing it. I can't show evidence that I'm using Joy-Cons, but judging how you saw me connect and map, map the keyboards and connect to Bluetooth, you can kind of get an idea how I'm not staging this. So, guys... If you do need any help, you know, comment down the below, below and I'll help explain it to you. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I will leave down in the description. Maybe you don't have a, um, you don't have an extractor. So I will put down in the descri descri description where to download Renoir. It's a really good extractor. extractor. It really helps. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. To un uh, unlink the Joy-Cons, just press the button again and they will turn off and you can just connect it to your switch and they will you know pair to your switch again so if you all have enjoyed this video i hope this is helpful remember if you have any trouble with this just comment down below and i'll help you out to the best of my ability so there's only one thing to say guys and it's t fame with the 579 out and peace people who watch my channel bye guys